Okay, this is just a short video to help you out with fixing up this part which has been supplied uh, in a slightly poor condition. So, if we want to create a drawing from this part, file, make drawing from part, okay, pick a4 ISO, which is as close as we can get to AS1100. You can see in our view palette, we've got the current view, which is sort of an isometric, but the actual true isometric, diametric and trimetric are facing the wrong way. And that's because the part's been drawn using what turns out to be an inappropriate orientation. It would be better if the right view was this front elevation type view. We can fix that. But for this part, there's an extra step we're going to have to do, but it might be a useful bit of learning. So we'll just close the drawing for now, or hide it. And if we choose isometric, that's what we get, which isn't that useful. The way to fix this is to edit the sketch plane. And what we want to do is change the that view that we had of the long surface to be the right plane. So if we click down here to drop the menu down, click on right plane, job done. Ah, but there's a bit of a problem there. So the way this slot was created was oriented permanently in a particular fashion, which is not that useful if we want to edit the part. And this is something that's mentioned in the learning material, one of the modules, I'm not sure, it might be module one, I think, about design intent. So if you do something like this, like create a slot or something in a part, and you want it to retain its orientation to the part, should the part be changed, you need to orient the slot to a surface rather than to vertical or horizontal or something that stays fixed relative to the part. So we'll undo what we've just done and rebuild the part so that we get rid of the remnants of what was there. And the slot is here, the sketch. So we'll edit the sketch. And if we have a look at this, it's fully defined, all nice. If we click on that line, it's horizontal. We'll delete that. Still fully defined. So this sketch is kind of over-defined in some ways. Delete that. Still, so we've got rid of the horizontal relationships here, but it's still fully defined. And that's because we've got some other ones. And again, here that are related to the um, origin or just the world in general in terms of what's the way SolidWorks orients itself. So if we click on that line and hold the control key down and click on the edge and make it parallel, then we're now fully defined again but the slot is now oriented to the actual shape. So now if we exit sketch and then have a look at it, it's still the same, but it's a little bit more robust. And so now if we go into edit the sketch plane, click on it, drop down our menu, make that the right plane, Take that, it's now the slots moved with the part, which is what we want. And now if we go isometric, it's a more useful view. It's one that you can use in your drawing 
and it's a true isometric. Uh, so that's kind of handy. So now if we have a look at our drawing, and we'll have to refresh the palette because it's still sitting here showing the old version. Now if we pick our right view, it's our central part, it'll automatically project what we want. And then if we escape from there and pick a scale, actually what we'll do first is we'll go back to the palette and we'll, we'll collect our isometric that we're going to put up in the top corner here, or wherever you choose. We want that to be a, more of a solid, so pick the solid. Now these views here are really too small. We want to use the space available effectively. We, If the part was bigger, we might have to go to an A3 or an A2 or bigger. As it is, it's a relatively small part, and we can scale it down and still fit all the dimensions on. So an A4 is an OK size to use. But the sheet scale is 1 to 5, which is a bit small. And if you use a custom scale, which is perfectly fine, SolidWorks offers you some options. However, if you have a look in your set text, there's one that's possibly more appropriate that you could use. But if we go to 1 to 2, um, and then we can drag these around a little bit, you'll see that there's really not going to be enough room for dimensions because your dimensions can't be on the part. So have a look at the set text and find the other preferred option that is slightly smaller than this that might just work fine for the assessment. Anyway, that's all for now. I'll let you carry on and <clears throat> do what you need to do um, without hopefully having given too much away. But it does mean that this view here now is a little bit more manageable. So hopefully it was useful. Thanks.